Hey guys, I'm Zara Fagan. I'm the author of Minimalist Homeschooling. I'm the creator of Simple as a New Smart and I blog over at ZaraPhD.com. I'm here to talk to you today about getting intentional. And the reason I wanna talk about this is first of all, because I love getting intentional, but second of all, because there's a lot of misperceptions about what it means to be intentional. So there are a lot of people who will say, I wanna be more intentional. And when they say it like that, they're saying it like an adjective, like I wanna be thinner, or I wanna be faster, or I wanna be more adventurous. So my question to you is, what do you wanna be more intentional about? Go ahead and drop it in the comments. Here's what I mean. Let's talk about the definition of intentionality first. The definition of being intentional means having resolve for a certain action or change. It's being committed, it's being determined to make an action or change. So to say, I wanna be more intentional is great, but that's really vague. What exactly are you going to be more intentional about? Do you understand what I mean? So now tell me in the comments, what's your specific thing that you're going to be more intentional about? Being intentional as a parent doesn't always mean just putting down your phone and being more present. I won't deny that's a great thing that you can start to do and you can be intentional about that if it will make a big impact in your life, but that's not the end all and be all of intentional parenting. Instead, intentionality means choosing something that's important to you that you can change that will make an impact and you're going to resolve, commit, and be determined to making that change. Right, guys? So we have to turn being intentional from this adjective of, hey, I'm intentional, to something that is actually an action verb. The reason I'm talking about this is because a lot of people ask me a lot of different questions. They sound like, hey, Zara, how do you homeschool four kids? Hey, Zara, how do you homeschool four kids and work? Hey, Zara, how do you homeschool four kids and write a book? Hey, Zara, how do you, how do you, how do you? And by the way, how do you do it all? And how do you keep from your brains dripping out of your ears? Yes, somebody actually asked me that last one. So first of all, some of those questions are just plain false. First, I don't do it all. I kind of pride myself in not doing it all. Two, some days I'm not entirely sure that my brains haven't dripped out of my ears, but we'll talk about that some other time. In the meantime, the answer to the rest of those questions is intentionally. I get it done intentionally, right? Because all of those other questions are basically, Zara, how do you make it happen? These things that you want to do that are important to you, how do you actually make it happen? And I do it intentionally. I am deliberately intentional. Is that redundant? I don't think so. But I'm also strategic about it, guys. So if we wanna be intentional, it's not just about setting some big resolution or setting some big goal. Being intentional is simple little things that you can do on a daily basis to create the life you imagine. So of course I love it. I'm all about simple little things that will help me live the life I imagine. That's like the definition of my goal in life, right? So what are we gonna get intentional about? Why are we motivated to do that? And how are we going to make it happen, right? And so intentionality necessarily then has to have a strategy. You have to have a strategy for getting intentional. I feel really strongly about this. Otherwise, it's just good intentions, guys, right? So you have to have a strategy. And then finally, the last thing you need to know when it comes to intentionality is that you have to revisit your intentions about every six months, give or take, or if you feel like you really need to, not only because we fall off track, but also because our circumstances change and our vision changes. And so therefore our intentions change. If you wanna know more about strategy, go ahead and look in the links below. In the meantime, subscribe to this channel so you can hear more from me. I've queued up a video for you that I think you're gonna love. Click on that and I will see you soon. Until then, I am wishing you all the simple things. Bye guys.